Hey, it's it's Wolfen, <laughs> and today I'll be drawing my new character for D and D, and she is a Leonin a cleric. So I'll be drawing uh, Arcana cleric. So I'll be making some character design and so on. And well, mostly well sketch and draw and paint while I. And empty my brain because as of recently uh, well there's been a lot of changes in my life um, a lot of new opportunities and mostly a lot of ways in which I am realizing I'm I've kind of slack off yeah that's well, it's something hard to accept. So I wanted to maybe just give some some thoughts to that. Or I've always been um, someone who did well. Maybe not always excellent, but always did well on, uh, on school. And well, I I am. Well, not to brag, it's not something I really should brag because I don't really feel proud about it, but I was at some point what people would count like a gifted kid. And in my opinion, uh, gifted kids actually have it tougher. Uh, well, not, not quite, but we do struggle a lot because we have all those expectations of excellence of you cannot make a mistake of you gotta do better every time while the other kids who are not gifted are like oh well you you passed that's good you didn't fail the class you you did your homework that's perfect and i've always felt like like that because yeah i know i know being good at stuff being smart is it's good it's supposed to be good but Sometimes I wish I could just, I don't know, sometimes the expectations are too harsh. And the thing is, being a gifted kid, those expectations usually don't come from anywhere but yourself. We end up put thrown into the idea that we should be better and that we should know better than everyone else. And that... We gotta focus and do stuff and be be who we sh we are supposed to be. Yeah, that's good because they they show you yeah, that you are capable of stuff early on, that you are capable of reaching a lot of potential. But at the same time, it's like when we go to real life, we see that most things we aren't good at the first time something that gifted kids mostly uh, are well if any of you listening is a gifted kid they might relate to the idea that well success was seen as a the only end and and mistakes were seen as a weakness uh, unlike other kids who actually committed mistakes and work hard us who might have had it easy by not really having to push it that much we tend to kind of be unfamiliar with failure and mistakes and especially with all the with all the stigma with all the expectations that we should have excellence will we become afraid of failure and not living up to our potential something that's ingraining ourselves from very early age and it's really hard to describe I, I really don't want to come off as uh, me whining and so we grow up older and we eventually face off with failure and mistakes and it's tough it's really tough but uh, honestly, it's not the first time I've faced mistakes. It's not the first time I've faced failure and having to try and work hard for stuff. 
So I'm not sure if that really counts for now. <sighs> I'm just thinking. Well, it's a bit tough to sometimes see that you are always told that you have potential and everything and like you gotta reach so farther beyond and if I was if I were you and had everything you have I would be so further away so much better than you are doing and I I know that those kind of comments usually don't really matter because nobody can really understand what a person is going through but at the same time it's like facing that what if they are actually correct what if you are wasting your potential i don't know but sometimes uh, at least i feel like all my life i've done maybe not perfectly maybe not amazing but I've done well. I've tried doing the right things and and doing the most of what I can do. And I've tried being good and, and work hard. But it's been tough. <laughs> I, I love saying the word tough. Seems like it's just been difficult. It's not as simple as it first look. And it's not like I haven't done anything. I've spent the last few years working on myself, on my self-esteem, on my own ways of dealing with the world. But yet, I'm still far away from my intended destination. I'm still not with the end in sight. It's still, it's still really well, maybe not that far away, but it's not close. I don't know if any of that makes any kind of sense. I hope so. Um, well, as someone who has lived with expectations all my life, Maybe they weren't the most strict or the most enforced, but it's not about the outside. It's about how much I put myself in a in those, maybe not unrealistic, but more like extremely rigid expectations. And just kind of thinking I would figure it out, and yet I'm still nowhere there just makes me wonder what it's it about everything what can i do because i there's times there's times where well people want me to fulfill my my expectations to reach my potential to become who i'm supposed to be with what i have and make the most out of who i am the the skill sets and the gifts i've been given but at the same time, I sometimes wish, like, I could just, like, I could just be a, a, a total wreckage, a total dumpster fire and be loved for who I am. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, not because I want to be a dumpster fire myself, but because I want to know, I want to feel like, even if I were, uh, I'm still, I'm still, well appreciated for who I am and not because of what I can do and I know that sometimes uh, when somebody well most times when somebody tells you about your potential is because they love you unconditionally but sometimes that kind of those kind of displays of affection feel conditional you know sometimes uh, with our really industrialized and globalized world uh, we hear all the time stuff like just hustle harder just choose choose carefully the people you are close to because they will impact your your wage 
uh, stuff like that that really grinds my gear because it, it kind of well it usually is repeated on circles that see people as assets to to use and dispose of I was raised listening to self-development content well, my dad would play it on the radio and the car and I would listen and I would find re very interested in that because well I've always been a trouble kid I used to be bullied and those contents about self-development and improvement and wanting to become the person who you are those are really empowering actually but sometimes they feel like false promises the more I've matured if that can be said at all the more I've grown wiser I've seen that most times they really want to empower you because they want to sell their products they want to sell their co their courses their books their coaching sessions and everything because that's their job and most times they really don't give good advice or their advices it's based on stuff like how you should really be working hard to push the system and well it kind of undermines the fact that people are people that people are not working machines makes me really think of how much really is it that a person is worth by their achievements, by their potential. I personally believe that those are things that bring value to the person, well, for the life of the person uh, having them, but the value of them as a person is nowhere near as close to stuff as simple as achievements or success or contacts or anything really. As an artist, I've found uh, the value in myself uh, as in something that I can find. And, well, I value from myself the things I can share to the world, the person I am, the, the stories, the experiences I can give to the world back. And mostly, I want to be someone who can... Well, who can inspire people? I wanna, I I wanna believe I do that. I'm not sure if I do sometimes, even though people say they I do. So what's the matter about um, wasted potential? Sometimes I I just wonder, and what if, what if, yeah, I I am wasting my potential, and so I wonder what what it would feel like to just accept that I'm wasting my potential and just being myself. Would that really hurt me? Would that really uh, stop my my progress as a person? Would that really stop me? Would that really halt my development as a person? Would that make me someone who's compliant and, and worse off? Or would that take away such a huge weight of my chest because yeah people have potential and some people don't fulfill it but what's the matter of just stressing out on how much you are not meeting your own standards how much you cannot reach the things you wanted and I know that <laughs> I know that escapism isn't the right choice for me, I think D&D uh, &D and other, well, mostly D&D &D has been some sort of alleyway for me to escape sometimes because it's a fantasy world where, where you get to share stories with people and you feel like your choices matter. You feel like you have some sort of autonomy, of agency over the, f the fate of the world or your own life 
and in real life sometimes that's hard to come by and, and, I, and I don't think it should be easy to do but I think I might have just let myself uh, well too permissive for a bit that might be true but at the same time I sometimes wish this world we live in wasn't like that like where we could just be ourselves and share what we love and not have to not have to make any self imposed or worse imposed by others standards dictate if we are successful if we are worthy or not and i know that maybe my my vampage point isn't on point because I deep down know that the people who say that I should do more with what I have to stop wasting time to be more direct with things are people who care about me who feel frustrated that I'm not doing the things they know I can do but that's that's scary that's really scary It is really scary. I think the kind of resolution I should I should point towards should be something like well yeah people who say that you are wasting your potential might be right but that doesn't mean you should blame yourself over it. You should just take the feedback and internalize it and understand that yeah you have so much to offer you shouldn't waste it like that but don't ble beat yourself up don't beat yourself up for it think what I should do for me is to remind myself that being told that I have so much potential is not a criticize it's not criticizing <clears throat> it's not criticizing who I am or what I want to do it's more like trying to slap wake up wake me up because I'm honestly wasting some time and I know that th those feelings are really really common among people from my generation the world is genuinely scary not sometimes all the time I sometimes feel afraid like I cannot face everything that the world is th throwing at me even though I know I can and I've done in the past it's just maybe to remind myself that I'm capable of making it true that I have done it and that I can do it if I keep going hmm, I don't like this pose well I think this is a good sketch but I have to give it a more dynamic pose. And something that I've also been thinking about is a lot. The thing that they say that the five closest people you hang up with will determine your productivity, your state of mind, your beliefs, your everything. I've always found that kind of icky to believe because that kind of reduces people into are they good or are they bad so and I've never liked that idea but they always tell me that no it's not about that it's about that you should well stay close to the people that you want to become like you should if you want to be a, an entrepreneur you should hang out with entrepreneurs and not with people who just feel satisfied having a day job if you want to be an artist you should hang out with more artists and not people who don't want to create anything and I think that part is technically correct and I've seen it in action because at least for now as I'm going through this evolution of who I am of finding my place of well my my character arc i've seen like some people have gone distant from me 
and I'm I'm honestly not longful, not anymore. I'm just like, hmm, interesting. How they left, kind of became second nature. Well, no, not not second nature. They became like in the back burner from who I am, and some of them are friends that I find dear. And it's not about like shutting them out of my life. It's more like we're growing. We might be growing out from each other. We might just going on split paths, and we might converge some day. And we can always hang out and chat uh, in a more casual way if we would like to. But it's like we are. Well, I I always hear the the expression about resonance. That you resonate with the people who you are similar to and therefore therefore you become you attract people who are similar to you. And I've found that to be actually true because when I was at a certain state of mind, suddenly the people who match the state of mind were across. When I was on a depressed state of mind, I found myself with finding a lot of people who were also in similar situations. Or when I was in a more productive and more uplifting mood, then people who would match it would be there. And right now, I really am not sure of where I'm at. I feel somewhat lonely. And I think that's good. Perhaps I should get new friends. Perhaps I should rekindle with people who share what I'm feeling. But after all, I'm not attached. A few years ago, I was really attached to the first friends I had because as someone who didn't have real uh, friends I could connect with without being bullied, I cherished them a lot and thought they would they were the only thing I'd have. But my experiences have taught me that people come and go and that's normal, that's part of life and not wanting to evolve is doing yourself and the people you are getting attached to, doing them at a service and to yourself. Sometimes I just want to be seen for who I am. Like, not just the goofy goofy person who makes art and makes corny jokes or not like this smart uh, prodigy who has a lot of wasted potential because of their fear or not like this emotional uh, inspiring voice of leadership like I just want to be seen for who I am and who I am is that I am all of those But I'm not just one of them. Seeing just one mask is seeing an incomplete version of myself. And I'm... I don't have much... Too many people who see all my facets. Mostly because I am somewhat anxious and don't show them all. And because of my... Well, the way I am, I've always been someone who naturally shifts their personality to match the room. I haven't been able to really stop that. And it's been good because that has allowed me to mesh decently with people I don't totally agree with. At lo as long as I don't totally disagree with them like bigots, I've been able to, well, treat them well and, and be somewhat... <laughs> talkative sometimes but I feel like I've relied a lot on my support net to talk about stuff and that's why doing these videos uh, it's been well so far this is the second one but well the, the thing about making these videos and talking to the microphone well it helps me put my brains put my thoughts from the brain to Well, to an audio, to a video, and listen myself more thoroughly because uh, I have to edit the video myself. 
sometimes wish I was more than just wasted potential. And I think that has to do with me having to actually stand up, uh, pull my pants up and go meet my potential. But it's scary and I, I'm honestly not forcing myself to do so too. You gotta stop it now. Uh, like how they say, like how I've heard people say, like put the batteries on and start working. Because I feel like that's useful sometimes, but I don't know. I'm not ready for that. Or maybe I am and just looking for answers, for excuses to not go. Sometimes wish I were more than just wasted potential. Wish I were seen by people for who I am, besides the faces I show to them. And I think that that is asking too much from people, well, from everyone at least. Perhaps what happens is that I, I haven't socialized a lot, so the friend groups I have are friends who know me far beyond I became the person who I am today and still might have in their heads the idea of who I was five, four years ago before the pandemic. And I've changed a lot. I, I, I haven't changed in some stuff, but I've changed a lot. And perhaps what I gotta do is have new friends who can meet me for who I am today and not have a perceived notion of who I used to be because I even myself I felt when I lost track of a friend and find them back years ago I kind of fall into remembering how they were before and assuming they are like that and I have to force myself to see that they changed I think might be sometimes, well, too much to ask for everyone. So perhaps I should just find some people who I can find comfortable with to tell, to share this. And honestly, talking to the microphone is comforting. <laughs> Thing that wasted potential means not just that you're failing, that you're not meeting your expectations, but like that there is something stopping you, that either fear or a flaw that you don't recognize or an attachment to something that's not good for you, maybe all of them at once, something it's keeping you from actually getting all the things you deserve. Perhaps that's a more healthy way of seeing wasted potential. Perhaps not. But think I wanna believe that as someone who has been told a lot that has wasted potential. Because it's weird. <laughs> it's weird cause like for those who barely know me that just know one of the facets I have, one of the facets I show, one of the facets they might assume I'm doing great, that I'm feeling amazing and that I have a lot of things figured out and that I might be somewhat gullible, but I am doing well and I'm honestly not. I'm just um, as much of a, <laughs> as much as a dumpster fire as most people. Maybe not that much as I used to be three years, two years ago to stand up to a microphone, to YouTube, to post this publicly and share how some people say that I have wasted the potential. And when I say some people, I mostly refer to me. <laughs> it's, it's weird because I, there are people I look up to who I believe have everything figured out. And if they came to me and told me that they feel like they have wasted potential, I would tell them to shut up, that they're, they are doing fine and that maybe their expectations are too high. But at the same time, I know that 
yeah, there is there is something, something that's not allowing me to get what I want. Or maybe it's that I haven't let the seed that I sowed grow. Because, again, all of these changes I've been talking about are not older than a month ago. It's been wild. <laughs> My other catchphrase, it's been wild. Perhaps I should just keep going. Maybe not out of the fear of wasted potential, but out of the out of the will to feel what it feels like to do the to do to walk the walk and to talk the talk to what it feels like to at least get close to meet your potential. And maybe I should reframe wasted potential as there is something stopping you because you deserve so much more for by what you have. Sometimes those words of wasted potential are so tough. Like sometimes it is necessary to have a wake up call. But at the same time, I know myself and I know that sometimes I just want someone to to see me and to see like to tell me you are you are enough you are doing what you can there is there are stills you haven't done and there are stills that are there are still things that are keeping you from doing what you want to from getting what you wish but you are enough you can we can figure it out you can figure it out just keep going and i remember that Out of the people I usually frequent with, I am the most eloquent and inspiring. So asking for the for others to be that for me, it's not too much to ask for. But guess it's just for now, it'll be just me who says that to themselves. So doing this is an open letter for myself, but also for anybody that feels the same way. I don't know if anybody does. Sometimes sometimes I just feel like an alien who has all these issues on their head. And like nobody else goes through the same thing. But I know people do. I know people struggle. Perhaps the thing I haven't done is that I haven't put myself out there enough I think that's the main thing I've done I might have been too scared to put myself out there that I missed out that I wasted my potential so if you feel like you have wasted potential or, re or if you you've been told that you have wasted potential you are enough remember that There might be things that are keeping you from achieving your goals. But you are enough. You are doing the most with what you have. Just don't lose hope. Give, don't give up. Give it a try. But know that whatever happens, you are, you are enough. Even though nobody else tells you that. <laughs>